Hey everybody, welcome back to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. We've got another custom ROM review for you. This one here is Evolution X. This is for the OnePlus 5T. It was requested by Evo X on XDA. I got a PM from them. They asked me if I'd like to review it for cheeseburgers. So I think the last time they heard from me on XDA, I was running with the OnePlus 5. Uh, that's the one that John sent me. Well, John's flashable devices, the ones he could play with that had unlocked bootloaders, uh, kind of bit the dust. I felt bad. <laughs> Man, I, he needed something that he could have fun with too. So I sent him back the uh, OnePlus 5. Um, but again, uh, thanks to Bob is on. Uh, for donating this OnePlus 5T to the community, I have one of those now. So I answered and told him I didn't have the cheeseburger, I do have the OnePlus 5T, and uh, if you had the ROM for that, you know, yeah, I would be happy to uh, do a review on that. And of course, he answered me back and said, yes, as a matter of fact, we do. So I downloaded it, and we are going to go ahead and review Evolution X. And of course, we're going to do it on the OnePlus 5T. So um, after the break, uh, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. Alright guys, we are back. Um, this is Evolution X, and I am reviewing it on the OnePlus 5T. And again, thank you very much, Bob is on uh, for the OnePlus 5T. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and get right into this um, uh, review video. And yes, I'm doing a, a screen record this time, guys. I'm going back to old school uh, just for a couple videos. I kind of like this uh, a little bit better. Uh, it shows the true color of the phone this way. You're, you're not at the, the mercy of the camera interpreting what it sees. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this now. It does come with Pixel Launcher. Um, what it does come with, uh, as far as apps are concerned, uh, I did take a screenshot. These are the apps that you get when you uh, flash this ROM. So, uh, as soon as you boot up, this is what you're going to be greeted with. Another thing I want to mention, uh, you do not have to flash G apps with this ROM. Uh, the, the gaps are included. Uh, the only thing you have to flash is your, um, is your updated uh, Oxygen OS firmware. Uh, you have to flash 906, okay, because this has the June security patch in it. Uh, so you do need that firmware update and um, just flash the ROM and if you want root, Flash Magisk, that is it. So of course with Pixel Launcher you are going to get the uh, Google Cards there. You know, uh, if you swipe to the right, there's the Google Cards. Um, this is your app drawer. Now notice my app drawer is light because I'm running uh, with the light theme. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into uh, System and uh, Display. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the, the, the Theme section. And um, we're going to cover that right now. So the device theme right now, I have it as light. I'm going to go ahead and switch that to dark uh, because I want to show you guys there are two different modes on this. Uh, the mode that is showing now is uh, just the dark mode. It's a dark gray. Uh, but if you go underneath that where it says dark theme style, uh, if we click on that and you go to black, which is my favorite because this is an AMOLED screen, guys. So the more black you have showing on your screen, the less battery you're going to be using, which is awesome. I love AMOLED screens. Uh, I just think they have a better look. Just, again, that's just my opinion. Another nice thing uh, that comes with this, ROM, with this ROM is if we scroll down, uh, you're going to notice system fonts. If we uh, click on that, I'm running Cavalier Dreams, I think is what, it, what it's called, but it comes with a plethora of uh, different uh, icon packs that you can run, which is awesome. You guys know how I feel about that. Uh, the more options we have as far as things like that go, uh, the happier I am. And the other thing I wanted to show in display is going to be under wallpapers. Actually, no. Um, the wallpapers on this device is in the uh, app drawer. And this is one of the apps that come as flashed. Uh, it's called um, EvoX Wallpaper. And if you go into the if you go into the EvoX Wallpapers, uh, these are uh, the wallpapers that they have. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm running. Uh, it's called Wavy. Uh, wavy Evo <laughs> uh, So that's an that's a nice one, but I mean they have several here uh, I've brought this up in the past about how I feel about developers including custom wallpapers on their ROMs uh, I just think it adds a touch of class uh, It shows you know the developer is truly into their work uh, when they want to showcase, you know Wallpapers that they have made or even their community 
Um, it, it's just great that they do that. I like that extra touch. So, you know, it, it's included, and I just think it's awesome that they did that. Um, that's pretty much the only other thing I wanted to show you uh, in settings was display. Uh, under sound, uh, the only thing that I noticed in here, custom, other than any other Pyrom out there, is the link, uh, ring note, and notification volumes. Now, you guys also, if you've watched my videos, uh, know that uh, I'm a big fan of this. Before we go any further, also, I want to bring up that if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon next to uh, the subscribe button. Uh, that helps me out a lot. Uh, I really want to expand the channel um, and get into like A slash B partition ROMs. The only way I can do that is if I have a device uh, that supports uh, that type of partition and this device doesn't. And I don't have any devices that do. And I don't want to ask you guys for donations. I'm not going to beg uh, like other YouTubers I've seen out there do. Um, but, you know, I do have a PayPal uh, link. You guys can donate if you want. You know, I'm not going to turn down a donation. Um, but um, the only other way that I'm going to be able to fund getting a phone uh, that does have a partition like that is if my YouTube channel grows. And the only way it's going to grow is if you guys share my videos, uh, you, you hit that like button, um, you know, and hit that notification bell. Start watching some of my other videos. That's how my channel is going to grow. And of course, if my channel grows, uh, I get a little more kickback from YouTube and then I can afford to get some other devices that I can add to the stable and you know and we can do custom ROM uh, reviews on uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go to um, about phone and uh, we're gonna go to uh, down here where it says Android version and as you guys can see this is uh, uh, evolution or evolution depending on uh, how you say it you know you say potato I say potato <laughs> and you know uh, but it is Android version 9 uh, it does have the June 5th security patch in it and uh, there's your baseband version and uh, and kernel version. I'm running with the supplied kernel. There's your build number. And if we tap on the Android version, it's going to bring up the Easter egg. And then again, and if you keep tapping that, it brings up that uh, that little drawing pad, which I think is pretty cool. So, so that's, that's it for About Phone. We're going to go ahead and touch on System Last. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and jump into the custom settings. And they are under... Uh, um, Evolution X right here and these are your custom settings the uh, first one up is status bar uh, so if we open up status bar you're gonna see uh, disable on lock screen uh, clock and date now if we click on clock and date that's gonna bring up the clock settings uh, you have show clock and date uh, of course and then you have your uh, show seconds uh, your alignment they give us left right and center uh, I'm running center uh, then you have your AM uh, AM, PM, date, date style, uh, date format, and date position. Uh, and if I didn't mention it already, this is an AOSP based ROM. And they managed to get the OnePlus camera in this, which we're going to show after we're done here. Okay, so that's clock and date. We're going to go to uh, traffic indicators. If you guys want to run with uh, those traffic indicators, here's where you do that at. Uh, then we have carrier label. Uh, they give you both the uh, standard carrier label and uh, your custom carrier label. Then we have corners is up next now I have uh, I have it turned on um, uh, use framework values uh, which is the stock values now if you shut that off it's going to give you the option to uh, you know make the corners even more rounded less rounded you know whatever you want to do I'm running with framework values which is what they built into the ROM or as flash uh, underneath that you have your status bar icons uh, system icons is where you can pick and choose what you want to actually show in your status bar and then uh, under that you have the roaming indicator show data disabled icon and evolution x logo yes i'm going to run with the evolution x logo um, but they do give you custom logos underneath there where you can pick whatever you want uh, as far as custom logos go uh, they give you the option to uh, use old mobile signal and then you have your battery icon style um, actually they give you quite a few to choose from here uh, you have your portrait you know q style circle dotted circle big circle text hidden and in the big dotted circle i'm running with the big dotted circle um, because i like a different looking battery i wish we could figure out how to get the three minute battery mod working again god i miss that uh, then you have your battery percentage uh, you can run you know hidden uh, next to the icon or inside it i'm running with it next to the icon 
uh, no we do not have a battery bar uh, in this ROM and if you want to run a battery bar there are a couple options in the Play Store uh, I highly recommend Team Battery Bar uh, outstanding app uh, okay we're gonna go ahead and move on now uh, underneath the underneath that we have Bluetooth battery status and that is it for the status bar uh, next up is your quick settings and first up on that is your Bluetooth uh, battery status uh, then you have the quick pull down uh, you can run what uh, right left or off and then vibrate on touch then you have the uh, QS panel tuner uh, QS style right now I'm running wavy they give you a lot of different styles to choose from uh, underneath here uh, actually more than a lot of other custom ROMs now just to show you uh, what that wavy looks like uh, as you guys can see by looking at you know the ones that are actually enabled it's got that kind of like wavy lines going through it I think that's the best looking in my opinion uh, out of the bunch and that's the one I'm running with uh, then you have your opacity underneath that and then show information header show security footer uh, and then animations are underneath that which are your typical animations um, you know you have your animation style uh, duration and then um, interpolar uh, brightness slider tweaks you, you know you have your brightness slider uh, bottom brightness slider adaptive brightness button uh, right position for adaptive brightness button and then brightness control buttons next up is going to be buttons um, navbar uh, you can invert the layout if you like uh, if we switch that on that's going to switch the back button and the uh, recents button around now I like it the other way I'm just so used to it that's the way I like it uh, then you have your power button next uh, disable on lock screen uh, long press for torch I'm running with it on and I'm running it with two minutes for it to shut off automatically uh, Volume buttons are on are up next underneath that I do not tweak my volume buttons, but guys there you go uh, These are the settings uh, for tweaking your volume buttons if you like to do that Next up is going to be gestures under AOSP gestures uh, you have swipe fingerprint for notifications uh, I usually have that turned on uh, so those are your options there for that then you have jump the camera which is double pressing on the power button uh, will bring your camera up instantly uh, swipe up on home screen now this is your uh, pixel gestures you're not gonna find it under system uh, they put it in here uh, so if you want to run with pixel gestures you turn that on uh, that gets rid of the nav bar on the bottom and gives you those uh, pixel gestures but these are your options here swipe up on the home screen uh, you can do enable full gesture mode uh, by clicking there you have nothing but that home button and then of course you do swipes uh, in the panels next to it uh, and then they have the uh, enable double tap to sleep so I'm going to go ahead and disable all of this. I want to go back to the standard back button, recent button. Uh, then they have uh, prevent ringing and um, swipe to do screenshots. Uh, I do that. Ha I do have that on. Uh, basically, that is a three finger uh, swipe. And what that does is, if I swipe down three fingers, it will take a screenshot just like that. Um, quickly, guys, I want to go over. Um, yes, I'm doing this old school again, uh, doing a screen record. Uh, that doesn't mean that this is how I'm going to do uh, my reviews from now on. Uh, give me comments below. Is this? Do you like it better this way? Uh, that's it for gestures. Uh, next up is going to be the lock screen. Uh, you have your amb you have your ambient music ticker, uh, media cover art, your lock screen album filter. Uh, then hide items. You have your uh, hide status bar. Uh, you can clock widget. Uh, show the clock widget uh, on the lock screen. Uh, clock style they give you quite a few different uh, styles to choose from I'm running full gradient clock and I'll, I'll let you guys see what that looks like so if I shut this off and then power it back on you guys can see there's the clock uh, so that's what that looks like and you know that's the one I'm running you have your clock font options and uh, they actually give you quite a few under for clock font options uh, some of them are actually new uh, some of these I haven't seen before and that's nice that they you know they, they give us that option as well uh, then you have uh, items underneath the clock and uh, date style uh, I'm running default you can change that as well uh, then you have your owner font options again I'm running Google Sans but you know again they give you uh, a lot of options to choose from uh, as far as your fonts go for owner information like if you want to put your name on it or you know I usually run Hayes Tech 
uh, on mine. Uh, then you have the visualizer underneath that, uh, and that's enable lock screen visualizer. So if you turn that on, uh, your settings, your custom settings would be use custom color. And if you do, you know, you can go ahead and go in here and pick, you know, the custom color of your choice. Uh, I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, and then you have uh, ambient music visualizer all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Uh, next up is going to be your power menu. First up is disable on lock screen. If you guys don't want your power menu showing on the lock screen for security purposes, you can disable it. Uh, then they have screen off animation. I wish they would give us an option to actually kill the all the screen off animations, but they don't. Uh, and then underneath that are all your uh, power menu toggles. Um, notice I have my all of mine ticked on. Uh, I use my power menu like most people use their um, their quick settings. Uh, next up is notifications. And first up under that is enable uh, heads up um, or disable it. As you guys can see, I have it disabled. I hate heads up, but again, guys, it's just my opinion. Uh, you guys, you know, do with it what you want. Uh, then you have timeout, and uh, you have your snooze timer, and of course you have stop list and blacklist. If you have apps on there that you don't want to show up on heads up, and of course you have to have heads up on in order to add or uh, remove something from your uh, stop list or your blacklist. Um, just add that app uh, to one of those lists, and you can control it better uh, so you're not getting those um, intrusive freaking pop-ups all the time. And then we have your annoying notification um, uh, protection, uh, kill app button. Yes, I like the kill app button. Make heads up less annoying. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know how you can make it less annoying. But um, anyways, again, my opinion, guys. I, I probably should quit picking on heads up. Uh, noisy notification if screen on. Then you have your smart notification sounds. And uh, then less annoying in call notifications uh, all the way at the bottom. That is it for notifications. And last but not least is miscellaneous. And under miscellaneous, we have a wake on plug, uh, your, your dashboard conditions, and uh, dashboard settings. Uh, this does not have over the top custom features in it, but again, this is more like a six ROM, you know, the one that Frankie put out. It has enough custom features in it, so you know it's a custom ROM, uh, but not, you know, over the top features. Um, this this development team is looking more for uh, the stability side as opposed to um, those you know every single custom uh, pick that they can pull you know they're again they're going more for that stability uh, less is more uh, type deal so that's what you're going to get with the uh, evolution x well actually i'm going to go into display again i'm going to change my uh, my accent color to you know what just for you bob uh, Cayenne, I think, is the one closest to is the one closest to Bob Blue, in my opinion. Um, it, it, it does definitely doesn't look like Cayenne. Uh, what I wanted to show you is under System. If we go down here and go to System, under Advanced, all the way at the bottom, you have your OnePlus settings uh, for you know the devices that are OnePluses, and they have their little button on the side, which I love. I think every freaking phone should have that button. Um, but here's your settings for that. You have your top position, middle position, and bottom position. Uh, gestures, camera gesture. Now, um, the camera gesture wasn't working for me um, for some reason. But <laughs> uh, after I actually used that uh, double press on the power button to open up the camera, and it asked for permission and all that, once I set permission for that, now that works. So um, if we go ahead and go and draw a circle, and if I swipe up, notice the camera came on so uh, so it's working now now it wasn't working before but it's working now and since we're into the camera I'm going to go ahead and go into the videos that I took these are pictures that I took with it and uh, it, it takes outstanding pictures I, I love the camera on it it's not quite pixel but pretty nice all right so Apparently the camera will not work if I'm doing a screen record, so um, I'm just going to have to show it to you this way and see it's recording, so um, everything seems to be working fine on this end. It just isn't working uh, while doing a screen record. Uh, and the video camera does work, um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, that Guys, that's it. Um, this is Evolution X for the OnePlus 5T uh, or Dumpling, codename Dumpling. 
Um, I think it's a good ROM. Uh, it's been very stable for me. And I am on Verizon, guys, so remember, um, the only or the best I can get with this ROM is 3G. I don't get 4G LTE. Uh, I can only get 3G with this, with this. And this device was never supposed to work uh, on Verizon anyways, but it does. Uh, so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting 3G. I did uh, test for calls, and uh, calls are all working. Uh, so everything's working. Uh, you know, I have nothing to gripe about uh, with this ROM. Um, that's all I have. Uh, guys, remember, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. Either way, it helps me. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment below. Do you like the way I'm doing these videos uh, with the screen record and uh, you know setting up a background so you don't see black bars on each side of it? Um, or do you want me to go back to uh, using a camera, you know, doing the reviews? So that's all I have, guys. Uh, I do want to thank all of you out there uh, who have subscribed to me uh, for as long as you have, and even you new subscribers. You guys are great. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, that's all I have. And I'll see you guys on the next one.